Alrighty, my friends, welcome back to the show. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. My name is Matt. If you enjoy this video, folks, please like and subscribe to the channel before you leave. My friends, we are doing a little after work session today. Uh, don't tell my boss, but I snuck out just a little bit early. We've got okay conditions, but good enough that I wanted to come out here and give it a try in the surf. It's gonna be a little rough, uh, I'm not gonna lie. We've got, it's more, more gonna be the shore break today than anything that's gonna screw us out of any fish. Current's not too bad, but um, definitely choppy. So, probably gonna focus on throwing the casting spoon around, at least to start. Um, I really wanna get on a blue fish for the table. I have not had a blue in so dang long and uh, had, a, had a couple chances at some keepers last trip out and I just put them back. I wasn't really, I was thinking I was gonna get a bunch more and then you know how it goes, you don't. So if that doesn't work out, we will do sat rig fishing, but right now we're on looking for some blue fish. Stay tuned. All right, so we're fishing the outgoing high tide. As you can see, it's been rough. We've had some big tides coming up, but this is the outgoing. It's a bit windy, so I apologize for the noise. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be a little rough today, but man, oh man, I think we're gonna get on some fish. Let's go. We're gonna be throwing around this one and a half ounce casting spoon from Castmaster, looking for these blues and Spanish men. There's a fish. There's a good one, y'all. Yes, sir. Let's go. Do not get hit by the shore break. Dang it. It's gonna be tough to get them in today. It's gonna be tough to get them in, but we got a fish. It's decent. Come on, buddy. Blue fish, I think. Nice blue. Yeah, jumping out there. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Come on. Come on. Nice blue fish. Heck yes. Heck yeah. That one's going in the cooler, y'all. Conditions are not favorable, but we are gonna make it work today, my friends. Boom. Nice blue fish. Heck yeah. On the casting spoon. That is a nice blue for Florida, for the east coast of Florida, man. That is a nice blue fish right there. He's gonna go probably 14, 15. They gotta be 12 to keep. I think the bag limit's five. We'll keep a couple if we get them. Let's go get this guy taken care of. Yes, sir. 14 to the fork, man, that's a nice one. Let's get him bled out and in the cooler. I'm gonna brain him, kill him humanely, and then we're just gonna cut his gills, bleed him out. And there is a really nice bluefish, my friends. Alrighty, my friends, let's make room for this guy. Yes, sir. Let's go. There's another blue, y'all. Heck yeah, another good one. Stay on there, stay on there. Yes, sir. Just hammering it. And did we lose them in the wash? Nope, I think we still got them. That's gonna be the problem today. We still got this one. Yeah, we still got this one. Nice, another nice blue. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. All right, if this guy keeps, if this guy measures, we'll keep him. I uh, got him a little disfigured there. Hopefully he makes 12. We'll put him back if he doesn't. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, he's gonna make it. He's like almost as big as that last one, so we'll keep him too. Heck yeah, my friends. Let's go bleed him out. Man, it is rocking out here. Bluefish number two. Holy crap, man. It is not for the faint of heart out here today. We gotta respect mother nature today, my friends. Jeez Louise. One tip when you're fishing in confused, rough uh, surf like this, it's just time in the set, time in the waves, so you can get, right, right now when I cast, we've got a retrieve window. And you know, that's, that's when you're gonna catch fish. You just gotta time these sets perfectly when it's, when it's this confused, when it's this rough. Something big. Oh, we got something big, y'all. Oh, we got a big, uh, I'm not sure what that was. Did we lose it? Or is it coming in with the, oh man, that was something. Do we still have this fish? I don't even know. No, we lost it. That was rip and drag, man. 
and it jumped. Uh, might have been a Spanish. Woo! Man, it is rocking out here. That one was real close to shore. Real close. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Ooh, that's a decent one. Come on. Yes, sir. What do we get? Little Jack. All right. Multi species day. Let's go. All righty, my friends. Nice fight from this Jack. That's not what we missed before because what we missed before jumped and was skinny and silver. So, not a Jack. So, I don't know if it was a ladyfish, Spanish, or just a big blue that we missed. But there's our Jack. Easy. E okay. Thought we were gonna keep hold of him there, but he had other plans. Alrighty, my friends. Another decent fish on the board, man. Woo! We are having fun today. This is, uh, we got the beach to ourselves. I mean, look at this, man. This is what fishing is all about. Yeah, thanks for the catch, bud. See ya! I'm not even sure how well y'all can see me. It's getting pretty dark, but that's gonna do it for the session, man. Quick little session, but a good one. Uh, no complaints there. Two really nice blues for the cooler and uh, that jack. Then I think we lost a couple ladyfish, but man, uh, yeah, just uh, rough surf conditions. Absolutely tough, but I'm excited to try bluefish. Haven't had it in forever. Some people hate it. Some people swear by it. Um, so I'm gonna see where I fall. So come back to the kitchen with me and let's do a little catch and cook, y'all. All righty, my friends, it is the next day. I let those bluefish sit on ice overnight. So let's get them filleted up. All right, here is the bigger of our two bluefish. Man, this is a nice one. I think that's about 15 inches, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I haven't filleted one of these in a long time, but gonna just do it kind of like I would any other fish. Start with that initial cut. And then just come down along the backbone. All the way down to the tail. Run that blade out. And then just work the fillet off. And we're gonna work around the rib cage. Bluefish is an easy fish to fillet. The flesh comes right off. Let's get it off that rib cage there. And there we go. There's one solid bluefish fillet. Let's go get this skin off now. This is kind of like pompano, you gotta be careful. Because the skin is soft. So I'm gonna leave, purposely leave a little bit of fillet on there. There you go, beautiful. And do the other side here. A little bit of skin on that one, that's okay. We'll trim that off. No worries. All right, that's our bluefish filleted, my friends. I'm excited to try this bluefish, y'all. I know a lot of people aren't uh, very fond of it, and uh, some people just like won't eat it. I haven't had it in a really long time. I mean, we're talking probably 15 years. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna fry it in butter and put a little blackening seasoning on it. Let's go. So here is our bluefish filet. As you can see, this is not a white flesh fish. 
This is more of a pink flesh, but I think it looks pretty good, y'all. I'm excited to try this. All right, we've got our blackening seasoning, Chef Paul Prudhomme. That's the good stuff. Let's get that filet seasoned up. I'm not gonna do this too heavily, because I do want to taste this fish. So, just a light seasoning on both sides. Just like that. All right. Let's get this bad boy in the pan. All right, let's get the clip. Oh yeah, that's looking good, y'all. All right, y'all, this is ready to rock. The moment of truth, here we go. Okay, I see you, bluefish. Yeah, that's actually got pretty nice texture. Um, more firm than I remember, or more firm than I thought it was gonna be. And honestly, it's got a, it's got a probably a little stronger taste than, um, you know, say, pompano or, or whiting or something. But um, honestly, very good. I'm impressed. I'm gonna make fish sandwiches with this later, I think. But uh, really, just wanted to try it out in a simple, you know, cooking method to let the the flavor of the fish come through. So. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do you enjoy bluefish? And if so, what's your favorite way to prepare it? Drop a comment below. But that's it, y'all. I appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you next time.